What is going on, you guys? It's your boy Avery here, and I apologize for the bad mic quality. I'm using my webcam one. It's because I'm in a rush. I got to get on out the door. I got places to be, people to meet. Ladies and gentlemen, Nordics in 20 freaking 22 have come in top eight at a regional. I never thought I'd see the day. I, I never thought that I'd be seeing Odin out here kicking ass, Loki out here causing some trouble, and Thor just, you know, beating the shit out of people with his hammer. So guys, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the like button and the bell and all of those good things because y'all killing it on out here. Thank y'all so much for all the support. I post a video talking about how I have 750 subs and then I'm up to like, what, 757 now? Man, it is, it's a blessing, y'all. Thank you so much for all the support. And I'm going to keep it coming as long as you keep on subscribing and hitting that like button. Maybe, maybe leave me a little kind comment because, you know, we, we out here on the grind. <laughs> Anyways, so this is Nordic. So, no, I don't know what this shit does. I'm not going to try and sugarcoat be like, oh, this is a combo. This is a combo. No, I don't know what the fuck this shit does. I read it real quick before I made this video. And basically... It, it's it's extender the deck, I feel. Like, you have the Magician Souls package. You have this Savalon card, which is like the Sun Avalon trap that skill drains the opponent's board. But instead of it being a one-time thing, it's once per turn. So Sun Avalon, or Savalon, is a continuous trap card. And it says, if you control a Seer monster, you can negate the effects of all face-up cards your opponent currently controls. So not just monsters until the end of this turn. You contribute a Nordic monster, then target a Seer monster in your grave, special summon it. You can only use one Savalon effect per turn, and only once that turn. Keep in mind, too, a lot of these cards are soft once per turns because they're from the 5Ds era. So, like, the three Asirs here, like, they're all kind of soft once per turns um, because, you know, this is back in a time when you didn't really have hard once per turn effects. You had once per turns, but if you could recycle them, then you could just use them over and over again, similar to something like Mirror Jade. So let's go ahead and just dive into the deck profile here, and I'll explain things as we go. So we are playing a Brave package of three... Uh, Water Enchantress, three Rite of Aramiser, one Dracobat, one Faithful Adventure, one Griffin Rider, and then we're also playing the one of Illegal Knight. I'm seeing a lot more decks now playing Illegal Knight. I saw it at Locals yesterday in uh, my buddy's Plunder Patrol deck. Card's really, really solid, because, I mean, once you give it to the opponent, unless they're playing a Brave Package, they really can't do anything with the Illegal Knight. So, and it's just, it gets you a free Omni Negate, too. We're playing one copy of Snow. We're playing three copies of Alvis of the Nordic Alphar. So, if this card's banished by the effect of a Nordic Link monster, you can send to the graveyard one Nordic monster you control and two Nordic monsters from your deck whose total level is equal 10, then special summon an Asir monster from your extra deck, so one of the three gods. If an Asir monster monsters in your possession sent to your grave by your opponent, except by battle, you can banish this card from your grave, special summon an Asir monster from your extra deck with a different name from the cards in your grave. You can only use this effect once per duel. So it just beams you out a free fucking Asir. This card is dumb good. Like, really dumb good. Then we're playing one Nordic Smith Evaldi. So if you control an Asir or Nordic monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is normal or special summon, you can add one Nordic Relic card from your deck to your hand. You can only use each effect once per turn. So you can get the Gungnir, which is kind of like a Dogmatica Punishment slash, um, what do you call it, Icarus Attack, uh, or the Savalan, since they're both Nordic Relic cards. And then we already mentioned the Brave Engine. Uh, we're playing two Tengisker, the Nordic Beast. So when a monster you control strobe by balance sent to your grave, you can special summon this card from your hand. Once per turn with this defense position card on the field, just change your face of attack mode. You can special summon a Nordic Beast from your deck in defense mode except itself. So you can tutor out for the little green dude. You can uh, go for this, the Evaldi, the Gullen Bursty or whatever. This guy, like you have a lot you can tutor out for. So we have Nordic Beast, Gullen Bursty. So first, Synchro Summon, you can substitute this card for any one Nordic tuner. So it just becomes any Nordic tuner that you need. You can always use it to the following effects once per turn. If this card is normal or special summon, you get to special a Nordic monster from your hand, uh, and then you can target a Nordic in your grave except itself and add it to your hand. Seems pretty damn good. It's basically three copies of whatever Nordic tuner you need. Three Ash Blossom, because it's good. Uh, one Valkyrie, the Nordic Descendant. It's not treated as a Valkyrie card for obvious reasons. Uh, when this card is normal summoned, if your opponent controls a monster and you control no other cards, you can banish two Nordic monsters from your hand, special summon two Angir tokens, Warrior Earth level 4 attack defense 1000 in defense mode. I don't know how often this would come up. Like, I guess you could get rid of, like, maybe two DD Crows or, like, a DD Crow in a snow or something or Illusion to Chaos. Like, just stuff that's sitting dead in your hand. Maybe extra Rite of Air Measers if you already have the token established. Uh, so I don't really know how often this comes out. It's a tuner, and the Link monster only requires one level 5 or lower, so you can just drop any one Nordic out and make the tuner. Then we're playing three copies of Diverge of the Nordic Alphar. So after you normal summon this card, uh, you can normal summon an additional Nordic from your hand. 
uh, during your main phase this turn. Uh, you can only gain that effect once per turn, and then if this phase out card on the field is sent to the grave, you can target a relic card in your grave, add it to your hand. So again, one of these two. One of, like if this goes to grave, then you can just add it right back. We're playing three copies of DD Crow. We're really maxing out on uh, removal and interruptions here, which I mean, hey, branded and red's a good card. Then we're playing a little Magician Souls package of three souls and two Illusion of Chaos. Um, you know, just from what I can just see at face value, you just want to get gas, gas to the floor. We're playing one Rota, one Foolish, one Called By, one Faithful Adventure, Draco Back, all that stuff, three Imperm, and then one Nordic Relic, Gungnir, and Savalin. So Gungnir, you banish in a Seer or Nordic Monster you control, target one card on the field, destroy it. Also, during your second end phase, after activation, return the monster you banish to activate this card to the field and face up attack position. So it's one for one spot removal, but you get the monster back. So, like, if the opponent tries to. I don't know, lightning storm one of your monsters here in attack mode, and for whatever reason you can't negate it, like maybe their effects got negated, you can just use the gun near to banish it and blip it out and then pop something on the field. So it's got multiple use purposes. For the extra deck, we're playing one Link Karibo. Uh, we're going to get back to this card, but it's uh, the Gavurg of the Nordic Ascendant, one Halky Fibrax, one Nightingale, one Baguska, one Zeus, one Arc Light, one Desert Locust, one Dawn Dragster, one Shooting Riser, one Baroness. One Loki, one Thor, and one Odin. This thing is 4,000 attack. Holy balls. So this thing, this thing is broken. So Gavolge, or Gavolge, whatever, of the Nordic Ascendant. So it's one level five or lower Nordic monster. So literally just any one Nordic gets you there. If this card is linked to you can banish up to three cards from your hand and or field, and if you do special summon that many Nordic monsters from your deck in defense mode. Also, for the rest of this turn, you cannot special summon monsters except to seer monsters, nor normal summon or set any monsters. You can only use this effect once per turn. While this card points to an seer monster, your opponent cannot target that monster for card effects. Also, monsters your opponent controls cannot target this card for attacks. So if this is pointing to, like, Odin, you have a good, like, decent lock on your board. Like, this card becomes like what untargetable yeah it, it becomes untargetable and it's already a 4000 beat stick like it becomes a lot harder to get rid of these cards also the fact that you can banish three cards like just any three cards from your hand or field it could be two from the field one from the hand or vice versa and just drop out three nordic monsters from your deck and it doesn't say the guy have different names so you could do like three golem burst you could do two golem burst and one of the green guy like you have all of these different combinations it's it's essentially a soul charge from the deck for three, if you think about it. But you're locked into only summoning a seer monsters, and you can't normal summon or set. But I feel like if you're dropping out three Nordics, you're not really going to be normal summoning anyway. Plus, if you open up with your Brave Engine, monsters that you normal summon won't have their effects anyway. So if you like go Ride of Aramis or full on Brave combo, get the get the token and the Griffin Rider, and you've got like I don't know the Nordic Alfar Alvis in your hand, you normal summon Alvis, make the link, and you're off to the races. Like, yeah, it's going to suck if the opponent hand traps you or something, but if they try and hand trap you and you got called by, you're all set. Or if you've got Griffin on the board, you can just negate whatever they try to negate you with anyway. So they end up needing, what, two hand traps to ideally stop your play? Maybe three, depending on the situation. So this card is bonkers. Like, this card is mad good, and it points bottom left. So it's really not difficult to get in a Seer Monster to be getting pointed to. For the side deck, we're playing one Banshee, three Token Collector, three Drill Lockbird, three Twin Twister, three Judgment, and the Zombie World. So the screenshot I was looking at was 14 cards on the side. I don't know what the 15th card was supposed to be. So whoever top with this, if you want to leave a comment, if you happen to see this video, um, or if someone else knows what his 15th card was, let me know down in the comments, and I'll, I'll make that the pinned comment. Um, but yeah, guys, this is... <laughs> This is Nordics in 2022. My god, I never thought I'd see the day. This Savalin card is freaking idiotic. Like, you just... It, it, it's not just monsters. It's all cards. So, like, they try to use their Faithful Venture, and you're just like, nah, Savalin negate. Now your Faithful's turned off. Your Draco back is turned off. Like, you can lose a lot of shit. <laughs> this is a dark ruler for the whole board. So, guys, please let me know what you think down in the comments below. Man, I haven't seen Nordic since, like, Edison format in, like, 2010, if that. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the support, and I will see you in the next video.